Hey everyone, Tracking Pat, and this last segment of the AGE programming is going to be on a part that actually came from one of our customers, and uh, one of our salesmen was out there helping them with this part, and it was so difficult for the customer that once we figured out how to make it and show them how to use it, we felt it'd be a really good sample to show others. So you'll see, we call it a hat because it's kind of what it looks like. It actually has a different purpose. And uh, what I'm gonna do is, because the part's symmetrical, I'm only gonna do one half of it and then show you how to do the second half using a mirror image. Okay, so I'm gonna start right up here at the very top of the part, which is what I have here in my first event. Okay, and the very top of this part is an arc. So I'm starting right in the middle, which is X zero and the length of that radius, which is 6.66 and I'm gonna do an arc. And so in my arc, it is clockwise, so I'm just gonna hit the set key. My X ends at half that dimension, which will be 1.02. And the Y dimension is what I don't know. So as always, guess, touch the screen, enter. And then it says, what can you tell me about the center? Well, the center is zero, zero. Okay, and I've got an okay already. You see the solid line. So I'm gonna swipe forward. I've got a milling event to do. Whoops, I got one thing I forgot to do. It has a Conrad in here on the corners of 0.15, so let me add that and then swipe forward. So I've got another milling event. The answers for where it ends are already on the print, okay? So my tangency is no. My X end is gonna be the same, so ink set. My Y end shows me from here to the center of that arc, it's gonna be the same number, which is 5.505. Okay, you notice I got an okay already. I'm gonna swipe forward. And now I've got a small arc. Now I can tell it's an arc because it gives me the center and the radius. If it didn't, it's probably a Conrad connecting two other pieces of geometry. Well, in this case, it's an arc. It is tangent, so I'm gonna say yes it is by touching the screen. Uh, it is counterclockwise in direction. I'm just gonna use two to switch that over. And then my X and Y ending points are not here. So I'm gonna go to guess. I'm gonna touch about where it's at, enter the guess. And then it says, where is the center? So the center is this half of this dimension, so 1.02 plus the radius, which is uh, 150,000. So it would be 1.17, okay? And the Y dimension is this 5.505, all right? And there's no Conrad involved. The only other thing needs to know is the size of the radius. Whoops, I missed. And that's 0.15, okay? So it's starting to draw it right there. I'm gonna swipe forward. It asked me, what do you have next? I have another arc. This arc is tangent. So I'm gonna tell it it's tangent to the previous arc. The direction is clockwise. And the X and Y ends, I don't know, but it's somewhere out there, right? So I'm gonna go guess, touch the screen, enter. And then the centers of this arc are actually not even on my print. Well, what is on my print is the radius, which is a nine inch radius. So I'm gonna put nine in here. Okay, I don't know anything else, so I'm gonna swipe forward. The next thing it's asking me is for the next arc, which is also tangent. Okay, it's also clockwise, and my X and Y end are missing. So guess here, a touch it about on the screen right about there, and then tell it what I know. My X dimension is half of that number, so 2.43. The Y center is this number right here, which is 4.55. Okay, and the last thing that it needs to know is the radius, and this radius right here is showing me is 0.175. Okay, it's starting to fill in some of the blanks. I'm gonna swipe forward again. Now there's a straight line in here, and it's indicated by this part of the print, okay? And if you start to understand AG well enough, you'll know that the length of the line isn't important because it's gonna be tangent to this arc as well as that arc. What's important is it knows there's a straight line there. So I'm just gonna to go to mill, say it's tangent to the previous arc, and then I'm gonna guess at where the ending points are. So I'm gonna guess, touch right about in there, enter, okay? And then the only other thing that I can tell it about this line is that it's going to be tangent to the next piece. I could tell it the length, but it really doesn't matter. So I'm gonna swipe forward. I've got another arc. I'm gonna stop right in the middle of this arc. So I'm gonna say this is tangent to that line. The direction is counterclockwise. My X is gonna end at zero, and my Y is gonna end at this actual radius, which is 4.85. Okay, and then it says, where's the center of the arc? The center is zero, zero and you'll notice that half of my piece part is already done, okay? So since I've got an all okay here, what I'm gonna do is swipe forward and push end AGE. And then I'm gonna to go to copy and I'm going to use a mirror image. 
on my mirror image, it says, what do you want to mirror? Well, I want to mirror everything. So from one to eight are all the events in my previous profile. I want to use a backwards cutting order so that it continues to move the same direction. And my mirror axis is actually the Y axis. So I'm going to use a drop down here and go to the Y axis. So I'm flipping over the Y axis to get to the other side. And the offset line is actually at zero. And you'll see there's my completed part. So not only did you learn how to use some of the different AGE functions in this one, you also got to see how the, uh, how the mirror image feature works. So as you can kind of tell from each segment of this, there's different information you're going to get on a print. Generally, the information that's missing should not be as extensive as what it is in our prints because they're designed to help you learn all the power of AGE. But it's very common to be missing a, a point here, an angle there, a center here, a radius there. And when that's the case, Use AG the way it's really designed, which is tell it everything you know, leave out everything you don't, and let it do all the work. In reality, it's just doing the math helps for you, but the power is that it can do multiple ones at a time. When you get used to using the touch screen with the guest feature on the RX, you're gonna fly through parts all the time. You're not gonna have to stop what you're doing and go find the information from a customer or a boss or a programmer or anybody else. I hope this has been beneficial to you. I enjoyed teaching it to you. As always, Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. And don't forget to keep on tracking.